course, include Matters Education, uh, hosted a book launch on late Professor Francis Imbuga, who was a professor of literature at Kenyatta University. Now, the chief guest, Professor Mwendwa Ntaragwi, the chief executive officer of the Commission for University Education, representing the cabinet secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, who was in absentia, accompanied by other prominent personalities in government and the academia, hailed the late as a humble man who loved to live life doing what he loved most, writing. Professor Paul Wainaina, Vice Chancellor at Kenyatta University, led the late family, that is Professor Mabel Imbuga, wife to the late alongside his children, in giving brief remarks on the book launch dubbed The Cherished Footprints. Now, the late will be remembered for his charisma towards life and the love for his work. One of the popular books he wrote is Betrayal in the City. The book launch coincides with the 27th edition of KU's annual Culture Week Festival, with this year's theme being Culture for the Big Four Agenda. Really to tell you, uh, Francis remained the same. From the time I met him in 1967 until he passed on in 2012. And uh, he remained the same, especially in terms of integrity, hard work, and humility, and a commitment to the family and also to his work. And his work, especially uh, drama, writing, acting. And as the children have said, he was writing all the time, on papers, on anything. And I came to learn that I had to keep those things very well. Uh, because from the beginning, I will try to create an orderly way. But he said, no, I know where my things are. Leave them where they are. As Kenyatta University, we really feel privileged because Professor Ibuga, he was not just somebody who was domiciled in the School of Humanity. This is a person, particularly in Kenyatta University, the performing arts. If the School of Performing Arts did not want Ibuga, he would fit very well in the School of Performing Arts. And the kind of work that he was doing, to me, has actually made a very strong foundation I'll say I never quite knew Professor Imbuga in the same way you know someone when you sit and you're having a beer with them. I didn't have a really close relationship with him the way I did with my other teachers in my other majors that I had. But I knew him very well through his books. I remember my all-time favorite was Betrayal in the City. We studied it as young boys in a high school. And we even had used the same names. We had our Mulilis, we had our Jere. We could tell who was a Mulili among us and who was the Jere. So we'd name each other. 